welcome back to my world. Now, uh, first of apologies, I haven't been making a lot of videos uh, and making the videos I promised. It's just, um, yeah, I've been working on this map. But what I want to do want to show you today is a new improved design for a shop using the scoreboard feature. Now, um, the map I'm using uh, or, or creating, when you run, you collect gold coins, which get uh, blocks, which then gets turned into coins. As you can see on the side, I've got 212 coins. Now, uh, this is where I display the coins. So when I enter the shop, okay, I then have an option to actually buy various potions. So I've got a multiplayer sword. I've got three seconds added to the clock. I've got jump boost. I've got a five second speed boost. Okay, so all I need to do is actually now watch watch on the side. Okay, so all I need to do is, for example, let's say I want to buy uh, a speed boost. So I hit the speed boost button. You'll see immediately my score dropped down to, uh, by 100 because it costs 100. And then you'll also notice that, uh, yeah, it dropped out of the sky. I dropped the 5 second speed boost potion. Okay, so when I exit the shop and I splash this down, you'll see that I'm, you know, got a severe speed boost. Okay, now this uses the scoreboard features and it uses the, the test for. So, um, yeah, let me, let me quickly show you, jump into a different world and show you how to build this. Right, so, okay, so this is how it works. Now, I know this looks very, very complicated, but it all comes down to this little comparator here because there is a slight issue when you do any kind of test for or any kind of command where you're testing if somebody, a player, has or doesn't have or does not have something. So let me just quickly explain to you how or show you how this, how, what the issue is. So if I set up a very quick command block, like so, let me just give it a, a, a button, okay and I just do it just, let's just do a normal command so let's say score uh, so let's say test for um, at where's my at at player score underscore coins um, coins underscore minimum equals a thousand okay so what will happen is the moment I press that button okay that uh, comparator will flag as being true okay now the problem here is as long as I've as long as I've got a thousand coins this comparator will be on but if I drop below a thousand coins so let's just say and uh, so let's just give me a few less coins so let's say scoreboard um, okay where was I score let's say scoreboard set coins to 900 okay so even though that command block is no longer true it's still outputting a signal so it's blocking anything else from happening. So let's just say, I do say, um, um, say hello. Uh, say you have a thousand coins. Okay, so it won't, if I hit this, it will reset. Okay, but I have to actually give it an input signal again for it to d detect whether or not I have a thousand coins. So when, let's, let, if I put my score back to a thousand, and I hit the button okay that's fine it works all okay but what happens if I want to hit it again you'll see the other command block doesn't get activated again because this is now stuck on the on position so basically what I've done here is I've actually built a mechanism that requires two inputs to be on or two inputs to be off before it actually activates so this is how the shop actually works so what this does it says First of all, uh, remove a thousand, a hundred coins. Uh, if I have at least a hundred coins, remove a hundred coins from me. Okay, so it'll do that, and then it'll activate this particular comparator. Now, every time I hit this button, if I have more than a hundred coins, this comparator will then never switch off again. So I won't get multiple items. Okay, so even though my score drops down, I won't get multiple items. But what I've done now is, you'll see, I've got a torch over here that so if I click this okay you'll see the item let me just actually put some items in there so let's just put some diamonds in there but you'll see my scores drop down now and that comparator is now turned on permanently so if I did not have this torch okay if I hit that you'll see my score going down but I'm not actually getting any items because this comparator is not turning off now because I'm adding this torch over here I have a dual input okay so when I hit this now you'll see I can get an item and my score will go down even though the comparator is turned on so this is because um, this redstone torch underneath here 
will power that one when it's on and this one over here will power it as well which then runs this whole circuit okay I'm not really explaining this explaining this very well but I am in any way going to show you how to build this so what we're we going to do first of all um, you need to add your command block so let's just get your command block up there so you've got your command block like so you've got a block on top of on top of it which is going to be the block where we put our button okay the next uh, on this the, the block above the command block we're going to add another redstone torch okay then we want to add a block on top uh, add a block in front okay we actually want to add two blocks in front okay uh, then we want to add a uh, Peter so then we want to add a redstone repeater and we want to add a piece of glowstone So I don't need that right a piece of glowstone and we want to add a torch so that when we press this button This torch turns on Okay, so you'll see it turns on okay um, Next we want to actually do the comparator part of it. Okay, so we want to come out one add on the comparator like so We want to run this comparator straight into a block with a torch Okay, so this torch now powers powers that redstone over there. Okay, next we want to come out one again. Actually, we want to come out two. Oops, it's the wrong one. Come out two like so, and we want to add a, a redstone repeater. Okay, and then we want to come up like so, and we want to come out one more like so, and one more like so, and then we're going to take this whole design straight across. Okay, like so, and then over here we want to put a hopper or a or a uh, sorry a, a dropper or a um, dispenser. It doesn't really matter. Then the redstone goes over here, here, and all the way across like so. Okay, um, that's it. Then all we need to do is add the command. Now the command can be anything you want, any kind of test. So uh, in my case, I was I was um, doing removing coins. So let's just do that again. So I'll go scoreboard. Uh, oops, see. Scoreboard, players, remove. So this is where I set the price for my item. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go at player. Now I want to go score underscore coins. Now I want to have the minimum amount required for what, what I'm wanting to buy. So let's say we are going to make whatever we put in this, in this um, dispenser, we're going to make 10 coins. Okay, so we need to have at least 10 coins for this to activate. Otherwise, it won't, uh, it won't activate at all. And then we're just going to say uh, coins 10. Okay, so what will happen is when I hit this button, you'll see 10 will get deducted. Okay, if I don't have enough coins, so if I go, if I just say set my coins to 9, like so, and then I hit this, you'll see nothing happens. Okay my score doesn't go down sorry I just forgot to mention this um, comparator over here needs to have at least one or two ticks okay so nothing at all happens nothing gets removed because I don't have the moment I add the moment I have a score of 10 and I hit that it'll remove it okay cool yes guys so this is really as simple and as straightforward and as easy as it is as it is now it does seem to be quite big-ish, and if anybody can actually come up with a design that's smaller, yeah, please post this as a uh, video response. I'll really be interested in, in seeing that. Right, so um, as I mentioned, I'm working on that map. It will be launched within days and not <laughs> weeks as it was before. So, uh, yeah, then I'll be back to making more videos. At Yeah, I'll make more videos. Yeah, I'll make more videos. Wonderful. <laughs> cool, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching, and uh, yeah, I will check you all later.